Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Uh, today is going to be like a monthly favourites video, my love hates for this month. And i got to show you my first love of the month is... Oh, it's my new wallpaper that I recently had done and I'm absolutely loving it. I've been dying to get this wallpaper for a up for ages. So this is definitely one of my monthly favourites. I'm loving it. I love it. So, um... Well, I got a lot of stuff to show you guys. I don't know what to start with. Um, okay, I'll start off with my Garnier Pure Active Blackhead Cleansing Scrub. I've mentioned this in my daily skincare routine. And I really enjoyed using this because it's got like that nice herbal effect after you've washed your face. Your face feels nice and cool and refreshed. And even though it says you see results from day one. You do see visible results, but it hasn't fully gotten rid of my blackhead, so that has disappointed me. But it is good to reduce blackheads, but it hasn't gotten rid of all my blackheads. But you, if you guys have had a similar experience to me or a complete opposite experience, please let me know. I gotta check this out now because it's empty. I'm gutted, but um. What's next? Uh, do, 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 do. I think I have to go for uh, Lee Stanford Argan Oil uh, Miracle Shine Spray. This has kind of been a love hate sort of product because um, the last time I used it, I put too much on, so it felt like I'd put hairspray in my hair. But if you put just a little bit in, your hair gets a lovely shine and it feels nice and soft as well. So it is a bit of a love-hate for me because there have been times where there have been too much in or too little. So I'd be a bit careful with this, but it's got a really nice smell to it. And as you can probably see, it gives a very nice shine to your hair, just an extra boost. Um, ah, This is a definite hate for me. It is the Toffee Hair Sauna Self Warming Ultra Intensive Repair Volume Conditioner. And I gotta say, you do feel the heat, but it's not very, um, it's not very warm. It's a very slight tingling sensation, but I find this very sticky and it's very difficult to get out your hair. I found, um, luckily I only had two of these as the last one, and I would not use this again because I did find it very difficult to wash out my hair so that's definitely hate. Uh, oh this I quite like it's the cleansing uh, deep cleanse oil for dry for day or night a light cleanser that gently removes makeup and impurities by Pharma Act. This is an Asian product I think Japanese and I think this is really nice, very light as well. It is light because I got oily skin and I, had, and I was worried that it would make my skin even oilier. I'd break out in spots, but it hasn't and it just removes the makeup really nicely. So I re recommend this to anybody. And it's got a slightly scented of banana as well. If so, if you don't like banana, then... You know, it might put you off a little bit, but it has got a very light smell of banana. So it's very pleasing smell. Uh, la, 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 la. Ooh, I got a uh, uh, Kerastin Soleil um, Coloured Hair, uh, yeah, what's I say? Effective Invisible Touch Natural Protects from UV Rays, Sea and Pool. Again, this is kind of like a love-hate for me because whenever I put it like towards my roots, it makes my roots very greasy. And sometimes when I'm like going through my hair, my ends, I feel like I'm putting naff on because they still feel a bit, little bit dry from the sun. So another love-hate product for me. Uh, what should I put? Oh, this is a complete hate for me. The Calms Night Tablets. Because sometimes I have a bit of difficult. Uh, sometimes I have difficulty trying to sleep, and I originally bought these for when I was doing like night shifts at work, just to help me sleep through the day. And I think these are all crap. They never help me sleep at all. And sometimes 
There were times where I've had a glass of wine with these as well to help to make me even sleepier. But these, but these never made me feel sleepy. Didn't help me go to sleep. I found it. I still found it difficult to go to sleep. So I would not get these if you're trying. You know, to get a good night's sleep. I'm gonna try night doll because a couple of people told me to try night doll. So those are the next thing I'm gonna try. Um. Ah. Oh. This is a complete love for me. I love it. It is the Tony and Guy Cleansing Shampoo. I absolutely adore it. I only use this like once a week because your hair only needs a cleansing shampoo once a week. So if you haven't tried it, guys, definitely try it. It's got a lovely like smell to it. Plus, if you use a lot of products in your hair, it gets all the products out. I, f I found this very, very reliable because when I'm using, this is another love, my magic oils. Oop, mix that up a little bit. Looks a bit weird. My magic oils. I got a concoct, concoct, concoct. Fuck it, I'm not gonna say it. I got a mixture of oils in here that I've just kind of like thrown together, and it is a brilliant nourishing mask for the hair. And I got the spray bottle in the pound shop, and I just put all my oils on eBay. And I love putting this in my hair once a week. I wouldn't go to bed with this in though because sometimes it's come out on my, my pillows. So during the day, before having a shower, I will put this in my hair, leave it in for like an hour, plastic bag around the head, and my hair just feels so silky soft after. And this gets all of the oil out as well because my other shampoo doesn't get it all out and sometimes I'm coming out the shower and my hair is still greasy from the oil. So th this is a lifesaver. To get rid of this out here. If you'd like to know what I've got in here, please leave a comment in, in the section below and I'll tell you guys what I got in here. It is a lifesaver, it is a miracle oil. Seriously, I got a bunch of oil in there. Um, um, this is a little bit of an embarrassing one for me because I felt very embarrassed buying this. It is the Femme Fresh Wipes. Uh, I only ever use these when I'm on my period because I remember my grandmother telling me that we all get like a period smell and I thought that was like an old wise tale till like somebody walked past me once and I thought why does she smell like blood and I was thinking oh my god she's on a period so we do have that period smell even though we don't know it so I find this a little bit of a lifesaver because it makes you feel a lot well more fresh it does it makes you feel really really fresh and I don't feel like all disgusted and everything after but, like going to work or I've been out for the day anymore. So I definitely try these for like your ladies' time of the month because that has been a lifesaver for me. And ah, oh, I have been enjoying these all through the summer, even though the sun has disappeared now. But still, I got um, I wish what I got on today. Uh, this is the one I got on today. It is Blushing Golden. It is the New York Applelicious Glossy Lip Balm. So this is the colour I got on today. And the smell of apples is really nice. And it does leave your lips conditioned as well. This one is Applelicious Pink. I don't know how the hell they come up with the names for these products. It's ridiculous. And this one is Big Apple Red. So these are all really nice. I even been enjoying wearing these because they're because they're keeping your lips conditioned and they give them a nice colour as well. They're very they're not heavy heavy on the lips because sometimes when you apply lipsticks it, it is really heavy and you've got to put a little bit of tissue into your lips to get rid of it, but this is not, it's very, very light. And I love it. Um, another thing I've enjoyed using is my Dior Lip Maximizer Collagen Active, which I had for my 21st birthday. And it, like I said in my previous video, it gives your lips a very nice tingling feeling and it also helps condition your lips. So I've put this on top of the New York um, lip balm. Um, this is uh, a cream product. It is it's a brand by Tony Molly, and this is a little lip tint. This is like the sample version I've got, and this one is the I think this is the cherry pink. I think 
yeah this is the cherry pink and even though if, if I just eh, even I just take it out it looks red but when you apply it to your lips it is like it's a bit like a hot pink and it stains your lips and it stays on for such a long time so I'd recommend that to anybody if you like lip stains because it does stay on for like ever and I always get comments on like how nice the colour is as well and uh, what else um I have been really loving the Dove leave-in conditioners. I've had the blue one, which is Intensive Repair, which I've shown you guys. And I've had the pink one, which is Color Protect, which I've also shown you guys. So this is the last one now. This one is the Weightless Nourishing Oil Care. I haven't long started using this, but it's still got a really nice smell to it. it makes your hair feel lovely and conditioned and soft. So I definitely try the Dove Range, really nice leave-in conditioners for all hair types. Everybody get one. They're amazing. Um, this is definitely one of my favourite um, deodorants. I always buy this brand, but I haven't had this scent before, which is Wild Rose and Vanilla. It is the Soft and Gentle Essential Aromatherapy 24-Hour Protection Antiperspirant Deodorant. I really like this range because it smells really nice and I feel like I'm protected for longer because the sure deodorants always feel like I'm it always feels like I'm burning when I got it on so this is very very gentle for underneath your arms and I I'm sure some of you guys have got like brushes like these for like when you're in the shower and you've probably like spent a bomb on them because when I've been into boots they're like ridiculous prices whereas this I bought for um it was just a little over than a dollar. I bought this from a Korean website, so you know I didn't spend that much on it, and it is amazing. It's really great for in the shower, and it's very gentle. It don't feel like I'm tugging my hair, whereas um, I haven't got my brush near me. But normal brush I use, I don't use it when I'm got my hair when my hair is wet because it just damages my hair. With this, this is very soft on the hair. Just over a dollar as well. Don't spend so like seven, ten, twelve, thirteen, even fifteen pound on like a brush like this. Come on, just shop smart. Go eBay. eBay. Um, this is an update for my skincare now. Uh, this is a fix you ample. This is the snail ample. So I mentioned to you guys that I had amples um in whitening key and trouble key. I've run out of those now. So this is my new one, but it's by the same brand, and I don't like this because it you don't get a lot in the tube. It doesn't come out properly, so I've always got to like dab the bottle on my hand to get the stuff out. But it does leave my skin feeling very nice and nourished. <coughs> I can't lose my voice now. <laughs> um, oh, I've really liked this. It's the Body Shop Ninja Night Jasmine Body Lotion. And I gotta tell you, like a, a very small amount of this goes a very long way. And it my skin feels very nourished. I like to put this on before I go to bed, so when I wake up in the morning I still smell like jasmine. Really nice to use. And do any of you like share your room with your pets? Like my dog always sleeps in my room with me in the night. So I always got this around with me. Which is just a fabric spray. You get like the Febreze ones are really really nice, but this is just a cheap Sainsbury's one. It is the lavender and jasmine one. I think this is really handy, even if you don't have a pet. And you know, sometimes you get that funny room smell. I don't know whether any of you notice, but I have. So I always like spray it on my curtains, on my bed. Sometimes I spray it in my wardrobe, and sometimes like on my pajamas after I've worn them. Just when I come home, they just, they just smell really nice. Like, this. like they've just been washed. I think this is very handy for all guys and girls. So definitely get one of these. And I just read how long this video is taking. Um, this is a rediscovered product for me. It is the Loma Brit um, lip balm with fifth Factor 15 in it. I gotta say, this is an amazing product. It keeps your, your lips very conditioned. Plus... If you suffer from cold sores, this will get rid of the cold sores. Uh, if you don't suffer from cold sores, this will prevent cold sores. So I definitely get this, guys. 
And like I said, it's a rediscovered product. I forgot I had it, so I'm going to try and use it up now. Um, on to makeup brushes. I've been loving these makeup brushes. These two are the Cosmopolitan range, and this is the Barry M range. I did have the Barry M um, powder brush, but it just disintegrated so quickly. I couldn't believe it. But the foundation brushes last me quite a while, and I've only recently had the blusher brush because my other blusher brush broke. It was only like a really cheapy one. And I really like this brusher brush. Really nice. Um, oh, another brush is a face mask brush, which I've also been really loving. Oh, so stuff coming out of this. Ugh. This applies your face mask so easy. And it's very quick to use. Because I find like I'm always like forever like washing my hands from the face mask. Especially when they get underneath my nails. So... This is very good to buy. I found this very cheap on eBay. And just to finish off with some makeup, I've shown you guys this in my casual makeup routine. The Too Faced Glow Pearls. Ooh, one's falling away. Really nice. Gives your skin a really nice summer glow. I really enjoy wearing these when the sun is out. And I got the Too Faced summer eyes the the summer sexy shadow collection so this is what the tin likes so the tin is very pretty and these are the colors inside now i've only used the bottom row so far to make like a smoky look and everybody said how nice it looked and how nice the colors were so i definitely check this out guys these are really nice summery colors and very last one, I promise. No, this is the last one. This is uh, the Too Faced Pink Leopard Blushing Bronzer. I mean, look how pretty that looks. I mean, I've only used this once, and my mother said it looked fantastic on me. I just used it a little bit on my cheeks. I didn't think it was that noticeable, but my mother said that it was. But she said it looked really, really nice. And I also had other comments from people as well saying that the blusher was nice. So, I think that's it from me now. Yes, that's def definitely all from me. So, if you've enjoyed this video and if any of you have tried these products, I'd like to share your reviews about these products. Please leave a comment down below and I'll get back to you. And thanks again for watching and have a great day.